Hi Kingsgate kids. Well I've come into my greenhouse today because it's actually really cold outside and it's raining and I didn't want to be in the rain. I've come into my greenhouse because this is where things start at the beginning of the year for me when I'm growing things for my allotment. And you know this week we're thinking about physical needs and how God provides for our physical needs. And it's for me it's something that I'm doing all the way through the year. I'm growing food down my allotments. I've got some little plants already going up here um, that will go out later in the year. And so I'm always thinking about food probably, but actually about my physical needs and, and what we need to do. I also like to go out and exercise. I find the gardening is a really good exercise for me. And I've got a bike that I like to go out on and cycle around the area. In fact, my husband and I have got a tandem bike, which is two people on a bike, and we go on holidays together. And we cycle and we'll spend two weeks cycling and camping because we actually know how important it is to not just keep our minds active, but to keep our bodies active too. And I'm always very grateful to God for the way that he's provided for us so that we can do those sorts of activities. So I wonder about you, when you think about your physical needs, I wonder what you think about. I wonder if you talk to God about how you're feeling when you're poorly. Sometimes we find ourselves saying things like, oh, I'm going down with a cold, or I think I've got a cold coming. And it's like, we just accept it. I wonder if you've ever thought to stop and pray and say, no, God, I don't want physical sickness in my life. I want it to stop now. And ask God to come and heal you, heal you right now. So often I found that by lunchtime, I'm feeling an awful lot better. And that cold that I've said was coming on has not just come on, it's gone off as well. And so I'm able to just keep going through the day and not be poorly. You might like to try that. So the Bible says that our God will provide for us out of his abundant riches. And they are abundant riches. Somewhere else in the Bible, it says that our God is the owner of a cattle of a thousand hills. Now, that's a rich farmer. So if our God has everything that he needs and he wants to give it to us, then what's our part to play in this? God wants us to live physically healthy and well lives. He wants us to live the very best that we can. He wants us to live an abundant life. The problem is we often find that's not quite the case. And we forget that we have to play our part too. So I do spend my time making sure that I keep physically fit. Perhaps you've been doing Joe Wicks. But whatever it is, it's really important that we understand we need to partner with all that God has got in store for us and we need to play our part. It's no good eating lots of chocolate and crisps and then expecting to be thin. That just doesn't work. If we eat lots and lots and lots and lots of food, we are going to put on weight. And that's another thing I have to work really hard on. I have to keep my eye on my weight. I have to sometimes say no to those chocolate bars and no to those puddings, even though I really love rhubarb crumble. Sometimes I have to just say no. So I want to challenge you kids whilst you think this week. It was amazing what God did when he provided for Elijah. And he wants to provide for your physical needs too. But why not sit down and ask yourself, what are the things I need to be doing to partner with the plans that God has got for me? Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you that it is your plan that we're physically well. I want to thank you, Father, that you are a rich and abundant God, that you own the cattle of a thousand hills and you have all that we need if we would just ask for it. But I want to ask you, Father, as well, to highlight to me if there's anything that I need to do to partner with you to keep myself physically fit and physically able. Is there anything that I need to do? Please bring that to my mind and then help me, Father. Maybe if there's, I need somebody to help me to do these things, that you'd show me someone that would help me to make sure that I follow through on the plans that I know I need to have. Thank you, Father, that you love me and I'm looking forward to living a healthy and abundant life. Amen.